Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a Canadian Greek coming at you uh, with this installment which is going to be called uh, Nemesis, uh, Jupiter's Orbit uh, has been perturbed. Um, I started out, I got the idea for making this because I was watching some videos on YouTube about um, Nemesis, about Nibiru and all sorts of things and I ran across this one from the Higher Truth channel on the most important Nibiru video, planets, uh, orbits are off. Um, now, uh, this um, this channel, um, this poster has made um, a fundamental flaw. Okay, when he made this video, when he, she, they made this video. Okay, and um, I want you to, but basically, okay, they made a, they made a mistake when they made the video, but basically the premise is correct. The Jupiter's orbit has been perturbed. Okay, um, so let's watch the video. Now, uh, by the way, I've cut off the sound, or I didn't cut off the sound now. Um, so, because he's playing, he, they, whatever, they're playing music here, and um, I don't want to get copyrighted, and whatever. So, um, copyright claims. So, let's anyway, so let's um, let's watch this and see what uh, what we got. Okay, but what I want you to pay attention to most of all are the time and date stamps. Okay, on uh, the camera, uh, and he's using the Soho Lasco C3. Okay, but let's watch this and I'll, I will narrate as we go along. Okay, let's track Jupiter's orbit. Okay, now here he shows, now remember, 2007, 12, 13. Okay, so this is January 13th. Okay, he starts at 2007. He's showing Jupiter's transit behind the sun. Okay. And now he's going to 2009. And he starts at 2009, January the 16th. Okay. And he's showing Jupiter's transit. And now 2012, many frames missing. It was just true because I checked it out and they are missing. But he's starting out 2012 in May. Now he's going to show you some slides here. How far Jupiter's were from the ecliptic. Now he starts at 2007. Again, January. I look at the bottom here. Okay. Uh, 2007. Okay. Uh, December the 14th, okay, is where he's starting from, okay, 2007, December the 14th, okay, and then he goes to 2009, January the 15th, a month later, and 2012, uh, May the 3rd, and he's showing you the variance, or how much has changed, okay, now we don't need to see any more of this, <coughs> because He's, he, she, they have made a fundamental flaw, okay, a fundamental mistake. Um, and I've, I've been leaving a message to, to the Higher Truths channel about their mistake and that it's uh, that I've corrected it. Anyways, and why now why have they made a mistake? Okay, the mistake is this. Jupiter's orbit, okay, is not exactly on the ecliptic, okay. Jupiter has a variance. Um, Orbit inclination in degrees is 1.304 degrees off the ecliptic. So at different times of the year, because I showed you here and I told you to pay attention to the dates, okay, one is in uh, December the 13th, the other one is January the 14th, it begins, right? And the, the first one begins in December the 13th of 2007, then it goes to January the 14th of 2009, which is a month later. <coughs> And then the third one is in May, which is four months later, or five months later from the first one, which is in January, or December, okay? And because there is a one degree variance, okay, so at different times of the year, because it's slightly tilted, uh, slightly tilted, uh, you know, slightly tilted compared to the, uh, off the ecliptic, by the way, Earth is zero, 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 always. Okay, because um, we use ours as a baseline, okay, as a base. Um, so we're zero, 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 and every other planet is, you know, plus or minus, it's off to a certain degree, <clears throat> off the ecliptic. Um, Saturn, for instance, and I'll get back to Saturn in a minute, uh, is orbit inclination in degrees is 2.485 degrees off the ecliptic, okay. So, if Jupiter's off the ecliptic at different times of the year, it will appear higher or lower, right? Um, and because this channel here has uh, made that mistake, and they're showing it at different times of the year, 
Um, their evidence <clears throat> that Jupiter has moved off, has, has been perturbed, is flawed. Okay, now I've corrected that. And basically I've proven that Jupiter really has been perturbed. Um, now let's start here with uh, 2009-0116. Now, now, they, now they did this one, okay? And here's Jupiter. Now let's go to Stellarium quickly, okay? And uh, we'll see that the time and date stamp here is 2009-01, January the 16th, okay? And that's Jupiter. Mercury is up here, although we can't see it in the picture because it's off, it's off camera, okay? Uh, let's bring us down. Uh, Mercury is somewhere up here, but we can't see it because it's off camera still. Now, this is Jupiter in 2009. Um, 01-16, January the 16th. Now, I had to backtrack quite a bit before I could get Jupiter again in January 11th. Now, here is January the 16th, January 16th, 2009. And here is January 11th, um, just a few days and 1997. Okay. Now, that's going back 12 years, and I'll explain that in a second as well. So here's Jupiter. Okay, now let's go over to Stellarium. And uh, let's bring up 1997. 97, okay, the 16th, we'll go back to the 11th. And, uh, 11th, sorry. And there we go. There's Jupiter again, okay, in the same position. Okay, and there's no other there's no other planets around, so basically that's what you're seeing here. Okay, uh, Jupiter in, two, in 1997, 01-11. Okay, January the 11th, 97, and January the 16th, 2009. Now what I've done here is because I've got it at the same date. Okay, well except for 12 years apart. But it's still in January the 11th here and 16th here. So the, I basically what I've done is eliminated the variance now. Okay, because it, we are in the same point in our orbit and Jupiter is in the same point in its orbit. So basically what I've done is I eliminated this one degree variance to give an accurate, an accurate scale of how much Jupiter has moved and look at how it's moved. It definitely has dropped in its orbit. Okay, let's zoom that in a little bit. Let's zoom this in just a little bit. And this is 1997-01-11 and 2009-01-16. Now this is an accurate assessment, okay, because I've eliminated the one degree variance, okay, because I've done it basically at the same time, four days apart and 12 years, okay, or five days in 12 years, okay. But we are in the same points in our orbits, and Jupiter has been perturbed. It has dropped. Okay. Um, and I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them a message here. I've actually written it all out, but I haven't just. I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to post it in a minute. Um, now I wanted to do the same thing with Saturn, but I, I can't do that, and I'll tell you why. Um, Jupiter orbits the Sun. We orbit the sun every 365 days, 365.242, okay? And Jupiter orbits every 4,330.595. Now, 4,330 days translates to 11.8567.8263 years. So 11.8567, say almost 12 years, okay? Um, it's... Well, 11.85 years, it goes around the sun. Now, I want to do the same thing with Saturn, but obviously I can't because, uh, again, here we are with 365 days a year, and, they, and Saturn orbits the sun every 10,746.94 days, which translates to 29.42416261 years. So every 29. Point, every 29 and a half years, roughly, okay? And um, there isn't data going that far back okay the data actually stops here in uh, 91 I think and I'd have to go back into the 80s to get Saturn and that's if I got lucky enough to catch Saturn in a transit next to the Sun at the same time you know what I mean um, twice so I wanted to do the same thing with Saturn but I couldn't um, but Jupiter itself has moved 
as you can see here from from 2000 from 1997 from January 11th 1997 to January the 16th 2009 it has dropped okay uh, now if any astronomer <clears throat> wants to come out and let me know why this is you know I'd be happy to hear about it but um, basically it's pretty much true and they go on here and they show you some more um, <clears throat> uh, astronomer deaths I'm sorry I got just a little bit of a, of a cold um, so anyways please excuse that but uh, that's basically it guys okay um, but this is uh, this is a good video but they they're, they're basically they, they messed up their evidence because they took the the, the transits from different times of the year okay which is which is flawed because obviously there's there is a variance okay and their evidence that the evidence that they present is flawed which I have now corrected anyways that's it uh, this is the Canadian Greek I'm out